So to our fourth semi-final here at the Leaning Singapore Open for 2013 and its women's singles. Current world champion Wang Yi Han up against Linda Weni Fanathri from Indonesia. So the reigning world champion and uh, number four seed Wang Yi Han of China up against Linda Wenny Fanatri of Indonesia. Here come the players. And Wang Yi Han, it may surprise a lot of people, is playing in her first ever semi-final here at the Singapore Open. She's made two previous appearances at this tournament back in 2009 and 2011. She was the number two seed both times, and both times she lost in the quarter-final stage. Not this year, the world champion lived up to her seeding position. But of course, she's playing against the unseeded Linda Winnie Fanatry because, of course, Fanatry disposed of the number two seed, Saina Nehwal of India, in yesterday's quarter final. And Saina Nehwal herself, a former winner of this title three years ago, and of course, the Olympic bronze medalist from last year. Wang Yi Han, not only the current world champion, but the Olympic silver medalist. And this is the third meeting between these two players. But the last time they met was in the first round of the All England Championships in March earlier this year. And it was Linda Wenny Fanatry who won on that occasion. So this is the bottom half of the draw in the women's singles. And I was telling you that Anna Tree beat the number two seed sign and able yesterday. Well, the score was actually 21 13 in the deciding game. Anna Tree having beaten the player promoted from the qualifying in the Bay Poo in the second round. As far as this lady is concerned, Wang Yi Han down one place in the world ranking, down to number five. And of course, she is a former world number one, spent a total of 118 weeks as world number one. And she has an extraordinary tournament record so far this year, five tournaments. She's won two titles and three times lost in the first round, including last week at the Indonesia Open, lost to Ip Pui Yin of Hong Kong. Well, Fanatry has gone up one place to her highest ever ranking in world terms, 13, and she'll go up again after this week, win or lose this match. I'm sure she'll go up again. She's played six tournaments this year, and this is the first time she's been in a semi-final. Now, not only is it her first semi-final of the year, but for Linda Wenny Fanatry, this is her first ever Super Series semi-final. Linda Wenner Fanatry. It'll be interesting to see how she reacts to her first ever Super Series semi final. Prior to this tournament, a couple of quarter finals, including the All England, because not only did she beat her opponent of today, 
in the first round at the All England Championships, she went on to reach the quarterfinal, which was her first ever quarterfinal in a Premier Super Series event. Wang Yi Han, who yesterday in her quarterfinal beat the number seven seed, Wang Xiaoxian, her teammate. But she went the full distance in both her first two matches. First of all, against the 17 year old Busanan on Rangpan from Thailand, and then in the second round against the left handed Carolina Marin from Spain. So she's had her battles, her easiest match yesterday against her teammate. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Wan Yihan, China. And on my left, Linda Wendy, Planetary, Indonesia. Linda Wendy, Planetary, Tucson. Bravo, great. So Linda Wenny Fanatri unseeded here at the Singapore Open. Gets her first ever Super Series tournament semi-final underway. Ah! Here are on the defensive shot, but just for the records, her quarterfinal victory over the number two seed and 2010 winner of the Singapore Open, Sina Nawal. Dropped the opening game 17-21 before winning 21-13, 21-13 in a match that was just two minutes shy of the hour mark. When we were watching Fanatree yesterday against Sina Nawal, I was talking about the fact that I believe she's probably made the biggest improvement of certainly all Indonesian players, but probably of any player in World Badminton over the last 12 months. And at the age of 23, suddenly it's all coming right for her. is fantastic. Great skill from Wang Yi Han. Five, two. hold, she's reaching that arm out towards the shuttle. Gives herself the option, she could have played the block, chose to play the hold and push. Just about to say that she's missed it. Surprised at the call.
broken strings in the racket of Fanatry. Then it's over. Six, three. Very good natural athlete is Wani Hart. Tall athlete as well. 178, that's 5 foot 10. I was standing queuing for breakfast the other morning behind her, and it really hit home as to how tall she really is. Did serve. comes about because she's got the options because she lunges forward and takes the shuttle so early.
will set up the tight spinning neck shot. Force the high left. And a three point advantage for the current world champion at the mid game interval. Probably Fanatry was a little surprised that that shot down her backhand side wasn't an attacking shot and it wasn't a clear. About head height when she made the error, perhaps just so surprised by it. times Wang Yi Han has turned and taken the shuttle late deep in her forehand corner and she's really played herself into trouble by not moving her feet and getting behind the shuttle first <laughs> oh, what a difference you see Jumping up to that one before she's just turned and sort of lunged backwards and taking the shuttle very late. There, when you make the effort and take it early, able to stay on the attack. on that shot because as I've been saying all day difficult to control pushing from this side of the court to the back awfully easy to hit it long with the drift but that was just about perfect very much commanding the rallies at the moment is Wang Yi Hun dictating the pace into the forehand corner again rather than letting the shuttle go past her and once again has the right effect for the world champion mm, good 
will serve too. 17-11. Four straight points. Well, it's a very, very different complexion on this opening game now. was the one in question. She doesn't like the call. 14, 17. Mm, hopefully we can see that again. Just a bit of needle creeping in here because I didn't know any fan a treat. There was a little yell of delight there from Wang Yihan as if to try and influence the line judge. He did clearly drop long. And there, yep, she turns to her opponent and as if to say, without verbalizing it, just keep quiet because that was long. But quite frankly, both players were indicating and both were guilty of perhaps trying to influence the line judge. Ah! Oh, that's a of well in. Oh, oh, oh. 16, Five straight points now for the Indonesia. And there's just one point in it. from 11-17 down to 17 all. Well, we have a real match on our hands now. Again, the yell 
of delight from Wang Yi Han. Yeah, this is super natural. Retrieving. Oh! And recovers well to play the winning smash. I have to say, as the rally was in progress, this crucial stage in this opening game. Disappointing, there was such a loud announcement. And the players managed to keep their focus. Both players playing very well now. And game point opportunities have come around for Wang Yi Han. Save the first of them. Oh, the one remains though. 1920. Great skills, she such an easy, relaxed hitting motion. That in itself creates deception. until there's a two-point difference between the two players. Unless, of course, we got to 29 all, and then it would be sudden death. <laughs> well, having just saved two... A game points, and now Linda Welly Fanatry has a game point herself. <laughs> now, the Indonesian fans shouldn't be celebrating yet. That's gone long on a run of four straight points, saving two game points, and then closing out this opening game. Umpire confirms 22 20. 23 minutes of play. And Linda Wenny Fanafri in her first ever. Super Series semi-final has taken the opening game against the reigning world champion. 
in 23 minutes. So the um, true shot, the Indonesian coach. Well, she said her bit. She's departing already. I'll tell you on the adjoining court, the last semi-final on court number two has just finished. With victory to the world number ones, Go Sung Hyung and Lee Yong Day of Korea. Two straight games against their teammates. Shin Four, and Yu. One, 20 seconds. Second game. Level. Play. Well, I thought at one stage in that opening game when Wang Yihan was leading 17-11. I thought she was possibly no. just on cruise control. Not to be in control, but all credit to Linda Wenny Fanatry because she just worked her way back in. Saved those two game points. Seven over. One all. Now, can she maintain that throughout the entirety of the match? That's the big question, of course. The score is actually 2-1 in the second game here. Just doesn't Two, look confident three. to me in her defensive play. of Wang Yi Han. She's not convinced by it. Oh, that was clearly him. Clearly him. Well, this is the sort of situation that I think umpires ought to have a word with players. And the line judge has obviously made a good decision decision and a right decision the reaction of players sometimes puts the line judges under undue pressure
That time the judgment was sound. That one was long. net cord but she created her own luck there one way hunt she really is an elegant mover around the court one way hunt born in shanghai judgment on that back line. Five, six. wide Seven over. Seven, five. Four corners being explored. That's great winning singles. That really is super play from both players. previous long rally that looked a tired attempt at a net shot to me from Linda Wenny Oh, that's good. Lovely. Oh, my goodness, she's missed it. Well, everything in that Seven, rally, apart ten. from the final shot, was exactly right from Wang Yi Han. Look at that delightful net shot. 
takes the final attempted kill early, as indeed she should. There was a huge gap across court. There was a huge gap at the back of the court. And she hit it wide. Oh, that's a good clear. So to the mid-game interval. Four-point advantage. The number four seed from China. How did she get that back? No! Service over. Well, a fair difference Eight, between these 11. two players as far as titles are concerned throughout their career. Didn't do any funnetry, just one solitary title. That was at the end of last year, December last year, the Said Modi Grand Prix. Her opponent, Wang Yi Han. Eight. Has 23 titles, 15 of them Super Series, having appeared in 21 Super Series tournament finals. And here's Hanatry in her first ever semis final. Now that's well played from the world champion. Service over. 12, 8. She was 10-13 down in the opening game with Fanatry, still came back to win it. Ah! Oh, that's a super skill throw from Wang Yihan. Well, when she's on the attack, nine. when she's commanding the rallies, it's very, very easy to understand why she is world champion. When she's defending that, certainly I just get the sense that there are one or two weaknesses, one or two frailties. Point advantage now for Wang Yi Han. Well, I think it's awfully difficult for Fanatry to come back from this sort of deficit. Oh, 
There you go. That's proved me wrong. What a super shot. Ten seventeen. Smash from one in the Worked so hard to stay in the rally, and finally she got the opportunity with that tight spinning net shot, forced the lift, makes an error on her smash. Point opportunities, a whole host of them tend to be precise. And the opportunity is to level this semi final at one game apiece. She saved two game points Real. in the opening game, 20. did Linda Wenny Fanatry, but trying to save ten, I think, is a different story altogether. Game points have gone a begging. Twenty. Oh. Four game points have been 20. saved. Surely not. Well, that's the beauty of sport, isn't it? You just never know. This is extraordinary. 15, 20. Five of the ten game points have been saved. She's 
Got the shuttle change, which is what she wanted. Fifteen twenty. Every game point that she saves, Wang Han, I suspect, is getting more and more nervous. As Fanatry, six straight points. There's still another four point game points to come, though, for Wang Han. Well, I think I'm going to have to stop making predictions. Seventeen twenty. Game point number eight for Wang Yi Han. This time, one well, of number eight is lucky in China. And indeed, it proved to be the case for Wang Yihan. 21-17. The scoreline in the second game having been 20 points to 10 up. 45 minutes. This semi-final has been in progress. Yeah, and a little clenched fist there. The fan of tree looks up at the lights as if to say, how on earth did I miss that one? It is one game apiece. 21-17, the second game, and everything to play for in the third and deciding game. So one of the coaches there, the two taller of the two, Chen Jin, former world champion, won his gold medal at the World Championships in Paris in 2010, announced his retirement from the playing side of things a couple of months ago. play to resume oh goodness me error on the high serve out Service wide One and the reaction out. from Wang Yihan actually very telling but he had one point first point the deciding game and already getting frustrated with herself and a little tap of the racket after she missed that no. shot there as well Yeah, just watch her reaction after she misses this. Yeah, there's the middle tap. Doesn't seem to me as if she's in the right frame of mind. Difficult to understand why not, having just taken that second game. Yeah, the shuttle going past her again, deep in her forehand corner. 
talked about that in the opening game. Now this is a very, very good start to the deciding game by Linda Wenny Fanatri. Tired from last week's exertions because, of course, she lost in the first round in Jakarta at the Indonesian Super Series to Ipui Yin from Hong Kong. short. Yep, got what it deserved. It came off the frame of the racket. I think it was an attempt to clear. Yeah. direction the shuttle's going to come and she's hitting downwards just look at this racket preparation just turns that racket head at the last moment to play across court rather than keeping it straight really is a delightful skill very very deceptive to tell. Ah! Yeah, when she makes that effort to take the shuttle as high as possible on her forehand side and smashes straight down the line. Talked about that earlier. Really uses that to great effect. When she not lets it drop low, then she plays herself into trouble. Yes, that's just super. Seven, Backhand cross court net shots again. Look how early she's taking the shuttle. I'm just able to guide it across court out of the reach of the Indonesian. Well, it's five straight points from 2 4 adrift. So 7 4 up. And that's six straight points. Oh, my 
Gunnis. That's one of the shots of the day. Thought it was going to be a hard push too. And then just drops the hand a little and guides the racket head. Ah! Oh, well, again, Fanatree just turning, looking at her opponent as if to say, "Got to keep quiet." It's another very good rally, but as soon as Fanatree starts her attacking play, well, the defence of Wang Yi Han, in my opinion, broken down a little too easily. And that's to take nothing away from Fanatree because it's good attacking play. But as I was saying earlier, Wang Yi Han, to me, much, much better when she's on the attack within the rally. Lovely. Well, Eight, nine. there is no doubting the fighting spirit of Linda Wenny Fanatry. This cross court shot, that was absolutely magnificent from the world champion. And yet the Indonesian made herself get there. Oh, how delighted she was to win the point. Just one point in it now. Two quick Seven, errors eight. from the Indonesian. And it means Lindahol. that the current world champion, Wang Yi Han, has a three point advantage here in the third and deciding game. Players change ends for a final time. Court attendance on to mop up the perspiration. I think Chen Jin, learning 
his trade as a coach, listening Fourth, to the one, master seconds. there. Fourth, one, 20 seconds. So with this three-point advantage, the current world champion against Linda Winnie Fanitri, what can the Indonesian do? What has she got left? <laughs> we know that the Olympic champion, Nishwere, awaits the winner of this semi-final in tomorrow's final. Apologises for the net cord, Spanatry raises that Nine. hand in apology. Well. for placement rather than power. 13, Acute angle, close to the line, and really doing the damage. the big smash. Okay. It's gone long. And she's opened up a five-point cushion now. That's the world number five. <laughs> well, she often tries that defence when it's aimed towards her 11, left 15. shoulder. She tries to play the round-the-head drive. And I think that in singles, I can see the point of it in doubles, but I think in singles she really ought to be trying to play the backhand. I think she plays herself into trouble by getting off balance too often with that.
That's going well wide. Goodness me. Getting to Wangi Han. Well, Fanatri says she doesn't want the shuttle changed. Wangi Han was just about to change it nonetheless. Umpar getting involved. He says the shuttle is fine. And there's just one point in it now. It's called out, and it's all level at 15 all in the deciding game. An hour and five minutes, and there is nothing to choose between the two players. It was indeed just long. That is remarkable. This is a run of six straight points. From 10-15 down to now lead in the deciding game. It's going to be a battle of character and nerve as much as a badminton capability right now. Both players have shown us a full array of shots. Who can hold their nerve? And by the time she realized she needed to play it, it was just far too late. Yeah, good aggression. defence again. I don't understand what she's trying to achieve with it. And she'd be far better with the underarm action. She could then block or steer or lift to the back of the court. Oh, that save is going to go wide at the centre line. Oh. 
after an hour and 10 minutes, these two players can still not be separated. It is one game all, 18 all in the deciding game. champion Wang Yihan going for her shots and making them count. Oh, the solid hesitation there with her overhead. There's the drive. And then the angle shot across court for the winner. Match point opportunities. Two match point opportunities, but then again, she had two game point opportunities in the opening game, did Wang Yi Han, and failed to convert. Wait. confirming the score an hour and 12 minutes of wonderful pulsating badminton the ebb and flow of the game both players contributed to a wonderful semi-final but with Wang Yihan's victory an obvious delight at winning through. It means that tomorrow we will have a repeat of the Olympic final in the women's singles final. Their confirmation, Wang Yihan coming through after dropping the first 20-22. 21-17, 21-18 in the deciding game in an hour and 12 minutes.